Sometimes I was saying earlier, all you have to do is just show up sometimes and God will take over. He'll do what he said he would do in your life and through your life. Amen. Um, so we can know that he's with us and working through us. Amen. Morning blessings to everyone from our beautiful wife, Uni Lopez, um, on the check-in. So, yeah, so that's today's topic. It's called results, results of trusting God. There are results, ladies and gentlemen, of trusting and putting your faith and hope and trust in a living, holy, righteous, loving God who is real and he's alive and active in my life and in your life. All you have to do sometimes literally is just show up and watch God work and work his word through you and work his word um, on you and through you. And as long as you apply what God has said and what God has do, done in your life and give him honor, worship and praise, you should be set up for a great opportunity to get into what God wants to do in your life and through your life. So this is part number three. Let's go for it. We're going to be in the scripture and I believe it's Isaiah. We're talking about peace today. Who doesn't want peace? I want peace in my life. I want peace in your life. Amen. And the peace of God that he gives us, the world doesn't understand the type of peace that God gives us. We're going to be in Isaiah chapter number 26, verses 3 and 4. Isaiah chapter 26, verses 3 and 4, today in the morning, Devo. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or any prayer requests, don't hesitate to leave it on the live chat. That's what we're here for. Amen. And God is faithful at what he does. So when we get together and we have these morning chats, amen, um, I'm so grateful um, for it. Amen. Also, I one more thing, one more thing before we leave. Um, I see you, Sister Joanne. Let me do one thing. Um, before I respond to your to your comment, um, and that one thing is, I have to. Uh, what am I gonna do here? Go to here. Hold on. To my live dashboard, amen. Because we're live, so I got to go to the live dashboard and do these things real quick. Give me one second. I'm gonna set up the radio. Radio's not playing because. A little glitch that happened in the beginning. So I'm going to get that right done real quick. So hopefully uh, my time away um, didn't throw people too off and think that I wasn't doing this anymore. Because I know in internet world, <laughs> it seems like one day that you miss uh, is an eternity. Especially when things are so fast and happening all the time on the internet and on live stream platforms. Amen. But thank you, Jesus. I'm still here. Amen. And I'm so grateful. Um, to my wife, amen, uh, for being a big part of what happened as we traveled, um, where we went um, to go see family in Georgia, amen. It was so so much needed time, so much needed, amen. I didn't realize it until we actually did it. So thank you, babe, again for you know being faithful to you, to to the family, amen, to our marriage, to our children, and for really being. Um, What's that word? Sensitive to what Holy Spirit God is saying. Amen. Thank you so much. So I think we should be good on that. And Sister Joanne, let me get to your comment. Haven't seen you on Facebook for a while. I know you were on vacation. Just have a question to ask you. I asked you to call me, but nobody hasn't answered um, out to me. I wanted to know if it's possible if Pastor Charles or Raina could reach out to me. I uh, have a favor to ask. have shared with you all that my sister and son was in hospital. We had to put him down. He was only 37 years old. Um, I'm asking if uh, Pastor Charles Reyna could come to my sister's house and bless it. Uh, I'm so sorry, um, Sister Joanne. Um, does that mean that your 37-year-old 30, son, when you say put him down, what does that mean? Um, let me know what that means. And um, the, the best way to get in, um, to pastors involved is just to call the church office and we could do that. Um, uh, offline, amen. So, my apologies, my condolences if this is what I think it means. Um, but yeah, call the church office and they will set up um, that with the pastors, amen. And um, again, I'm so um, concerned with you and your and your family as well, amen. So, my apologies if nobody called you, um, but I'm sure if you call the church office, amen, um, someone will connect with you, amen. It doesn't have to be just me. Uh, so if it's um, if it was me that you're waiting for to call, my apologies. Um, call out to the church, Amen. And um, I'm sure, I'm sure that someone will reach back to you. 
So let's go for it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or any prayer requests, don't hesitate to do it. We're going to take this time right now. I know we're a little behind schedule here, but we're going to, yeah, we're very behind schedule. We're going to take some time to share this out. When we come back on the other end of this, we'll get back to um, the scripture here. Isaiah chapter number, man, I'm just like everywhere today. Isaiah chapter number 26, verses 3 and 4. Amen. So let's take 60 seconds. Help me share this out. But before that, let's pray. Father, I thank you so much for this day. I thank you, Lord God, for the peace that you offer us, that you give us daily, Lord God, as long as we're in your perfect peace. According to the scripture we're going to read today, I pray, Lord God, a blessing. I pray, Lord God, power, authority. I pray, Lord, pray, Lord God, renewal, restoration, redemption, salvation, protection, everything that you have for us, um, according to your word, that we will have uh, the protection Uh, the gladness, and today the peace that you, Lord God, have promised through your word. I pray, Lord God, for a hedge of protection over this family, my family, amen, my marriage, our children, our ministry, our finances, our businesses, our organizations that we're with, our church, amen, and all the brothers and sisters in Christ from here in the region and around the world. I pray, Lord God, for peace of God over our hearts and minds. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Help me share this out. 60 seconds when we come back. We'll get right into the scripture. Today is part three of the results of trusting God. This is part number three, and we're calling this one um, Perfect Peace. I'll be right back. back we're back let's go for it we have a little bit of time left a couple of minutes left here amen my apologies again for earlier the glitch with the sound thank you um for the people my wife and the people who told me listen the sound sounds like robotic because that's what happens sometimes when you're doing lives and the sun goes wrong just go with the flow with it i ought to reach out to another pastor from another church to be at the cemetery to pray for him when they put him down um what i mean is that i don't want to explain it on the phone okay we want to pray for her house because my sister can't sleep at night and she feels um, threatened uh, her come like crazy and I'm so sorry I had to share this online I raised him like my son but my sister's son only had okay so I understand sister Joanne so please call the church office and they will definitely um, respond to you amen and my apologies for not responding um, but I was away brother Jonathan God bless you bro it's good to see you my bro, God bless you, and um, have a great day um, today as we start this with the Word, right? The best way to start the day off, man, I believe, is with the Word of God. What happens when you actually trust God? What actually happens when you actually take the step of faith and put God first in your life? There's results, good results, amen? I believe the best results happen when you put your faith and hope and trust in a living, holy, righteous, loving God who loves you, man. He loves me. He loves you, Amen. 
And there's nothing um, that could separate us from the love of God, but there is something that could separate us from our relationship with God, right? And that's called sin. And we have to deal with it. We know we can't front like um, sin is not a thing. Sin is something that will hinder our prayers. Sin is something that will separate us from a relationship with God. Sin is something that will keep us in the background, not in the forefront. Amen. When it comes to the kingdom of God. So I know we all deal with sin. I know people have accused me of saying, you said in your podcast that you don't sin. I said, no. What I always say about sin, when you're born again, you don't longer, you no longer a slave of sin. That's what I say because that's what the word says. Amen. So I don't literally have to wake up and be like, oh man, I have to sin now. I have no power over sin. That's a lie from the pit of hell. It smells like smoke. That's from the devil. The word of God says when you're born again, amen, now you have um, the freedom to make choices when it comes to the sinful nature. We have a fight now. We have a good fight of faith and we have a weapon called peace. And let's get right into the scripture. Amen. So I can show you one of the reasons I know that we're no longer bound to sin when we have the peace of a living, holy, righteous, loving God in our lives. Amen. Trusting and God, the results of trusting God, part number three. Isaiah, and again, I forgot to put the scripture reference. I did this last time, amen. So, got prayer for brother, man. I fed the little details, which are important. But the scripture is Isaiah chapter 26, verses 3 and 4. And the Bible says, You will keep in perfect and constant peace the one whose mind is steadfast, that is, committed and focused on you in both inclination and character. You get that? So because he trusts and takes refuge in you and God with hope and confident expectation, trust confidently in the Lord forever. He is, not was, not could be, he is your fortress. He is your shield. He is your banner, right? Jehovah Nisi. For the Lord God is an everlasting rock, the rock of ages. Now, tell me where this verse says anything about you having to submit to anything other than the peace of God. Show me in the scripture where it says that God will not keep you in constant peace or he'll keep you in. Sometimes you'll have peace from God. Sometimes you won't. No, the scripture literally says you will keep in perfect peace and constant peace to the one whose mind is steadfast. I mean, you're thinking, you're committed. You're focused on God in both inclination and character. Amen. You're inclined to present your life as a living sacrifice, not as a dead corpse, not as a religious person, but as a relational person with a living, holy, righteous, loving God who is available. Like Sister Joanne always counting on people to reach out to her by way of phone. And now she's expressing on the line. Amen. She knows she could go directly to the source, which is the Lord, that will connect her to the people who will help her and her family right now, today, and her situation when it comes to her family. We all know this. Amen. But how many times do we fade away from what the word says or what the word is speaking and we go about our own way? Forgetting that God wants to give us this constant peace, this perfect peace when we're focused on him. Because why? We trust in God. We take refuge in God. We put our hope and confident expectation in God. We are the Lord's forever. And God is with us and in us, working through us forever, for all eternity. On this side of eternity and on the next side, he's for you. He's for me. He's our protector. He's our shield. He's our banner for the Lord God. The Lord God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God Almighty, wonderful counsel, the Prince of Peace. He's going to give us this perfect peace because he's our everlasting rock, the rock of ages. And you could even turn the scripture into a prayer if you wanted to. It's a powerful prayer as well. The word of God, repeating it right back to God. Amen. Giving it back to God. And that's his word on it. His word on it. Not my word on it. God's word on it. And that's an amazing thing. Brother Ke Kevon, God bless you, man. It's good to see you on the Morning Devo once again, my bro. God bless you. But listen, that's what we have today. The perfect peace that everybody's asking for or looking for. We have it in Christ. Jesus is, after all, he is the Prince of Peace. Amen. 
in him. We have our refuge in him. We're protected in him. We have peace in him. We have gladness. Amen. And going forward for the next two parts of this series, we're going to find out that we have our blessing. We're going to find out we have our power. Amen. We're going to find out we have our confidence. That's the results of sharing in the trust of God. The results of trusting in God are next level. We put him first. Amen. We get what he has first. We put him last. Amen. He still loves us. But we won't get as much as we should be getting when we put other things before God. It could be an idol. It could be a job. It could be a ministry. It could be a church. It could be a relationship. It could be your children. It could be your your marriage. It could be your, you know, whatever it is that you put before God. Amen. That is what you're focusing on. But the Bible, the scripture that we just read through the prophet Isaiah says, stay fast and focus on him. Steadfast, being confident in God. Sister Joyce, I see you. Good morning. God bless you. Welcome to the Morning Devo. It's good to see you, my sister and my friend. He says, you will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is what? Steadfast, focused, right? Centered on because we trust in you. God, we trust God. The results of trusting in God is beneficial all the way around. It's not just, okay, one day you're trusting him and it's all going to be the same results. No, they are results for being steadfast and focused on a living, holy, righteous God. Amen. Righteous God. Yes, Sister Joanne, I'll, um, uh, I'll give you the number. Sister Joyce, if you don't mind, if you could reach out to Sister Joanne. Uh, with the phone number of the church, amen, um, through her messenger. If not, I'll do it after the, the live stream, amen. We'll get you the number to the church office, sister, no problem, amen. You are still part of the family uh, of Transformation Church. Um, you were uh, one of the day oneers, if I if I remember correctly. You've been with us for a long time. Of course, you reach out to the church, amen. Um, that's what we're here for. So, Isaiah 26, verses 3 and 4 Take time to read the whole chapter of Isaiah 26. You want peace, amen? You have it in Christ. You have it in God. You have it in the Creator. You have it in the Father. You have it in God the Son. You have it through God, Holy Spirit. The peace that this world offers is artificial. It really is not It's not it. The peace that this world offers is very circumstantial. It's very uh, AI, artificial intelligent type of peace. It's really like... Here today, gone tomorrow. But the peace of God, the joy of God, amen, is everlasting. The word says it. I believe the word, amen. And I hope you agree with the word and believe the word too. Um, You could take another way to try to get peace. Some people go to alcohol and drugs and relationships. And they put all these things in front of how God is offering the peace that he's offering. And we put it all um, like that. We put it all to the side when God is speaking to us, a lot of us just put that to the side. Amen. And sometimes when I'm frustrated or when I'm maybe con- overly concerned about something or worrying about something, I could tend to put what I know to the side for whatever reasons, human nature, whatever you want to call it. But today I challenge myself and I challenge you to put the word of God in activation in your life. Amen. Activate the word of God in your life. When it comes to peace, I tell people all the time, they do not believe me. I said, I always say you can offer me millions of dollars and and in turn or for the millions of dollars, you just say, just do what I say, um, you know, for the donors or whatever and lose my peace doing it. I won't do it. I'm not losing my peace for nobody. Peace is, is I cherish my peace. Amen. Uh, more than silver and gold. Money can't offer you the peace that Jesus, God the Father, amen, Holy Spirit offers you, amen, don't make that type of trade, it's not going to benefit you, so what happens in your life due to trusting the one who gave it to you, perfect peace, that's, um, this is part three, perfect peace, so I thank you so much for hanging out with me and being patient during all the um, issues that we had on the start of this, amen, but God is faithful, and we got through it, amen, and I hope and pray that the peace of God will be upon your life and upon your family's life, upon your business, upon your work, upon your schooling, upon your friends, upon your church, upon, you know, every situation that you're facing today, the peace of God, we can be in perfect peace when we focus on the one who offers 
perfect peace. And that's the Lord. Amen. So God bless you all. God keep you all. And remember always, always remember this, that God is good. Peace.